I met with Ryan Zinke, um, the uh, Secretary of Interior, just a couple of days ago, and he was interested in the ONC issue, and I talked to him about my bill, which doubles the harvest on average every year for the next 50 years. And I said, Mr. Zinke, that's not something that some ideological group uh, made up. We used models that were developed by your people, BLM people, in Oregon, and the scoring that was done that showed that on average that it would double the harvest every year for the next 50 years was done by your people. Second, uh, I have been working with um, both Wilbur Ross and uh, Ambassador Lighthizer, our trade representative, on an issue where I and Senator Crapo have led, and that is trying to make sure that our mills get a fair shake with Canada. What Canada has done for years and years has been to flagrantly subsidize you know, their stumpage and then, in effect, uh, uh, put themselves in a position where they can just steal our markets by sending cheap um, material to uh, our country. I also talked to the president about this you know, personally and made it clear how important this is to our state. He was really very interested. He said he would assign his officials to it, and he has done that. I've never changed kind of my focus, and I, I call it the Oregon way because it's kind of unique to us, and I feel as the senior senator, this kind of special obligation to watch the tradition develop, whether it was you know, Mark Hatfield or Tom McCall, and lots of Democrats who participate in, we're, we're for fresh ideas, and we don't care where they come from, Democrats and Republicans. That's why I proposed vote by mail and taking vote by mail national, because there's all this concern about security with respect to hacking our um, electoral systems. Well, we've got a proposal that deals with that. We'd have a paper trail for, for every every kind of ballot. So I call them like I see them. You just asked me about you know, forestry. I said I was at the White House with the president, and he put two people, Bob Lighthizer and, and Wilbur Ross, on this issue. And I have been working with them, and I am going to stay with them until it gets resolved. If they do it in a way that helps Oregon middle class families and workers, I'll say so. And if they don't, I'll say that. Um, as well.